Hello, and welcome to Real Illusion Hints and Tips, creating an iClone face guide for use in Crazy Talk custom CTM output. This allows users to create and translate perfect emotive effects to their iClone avatars. While producing and reviewing in real time, users have the ability to see their character's image noting exactly how their facial animation will react to the shape and design of their avatar's head before it's applied inside of iClone. We call this type of image a face guide. A preview to uses a roadmap of sorts to achieve a higher quality of facial animation. This method is achieved in 12 easy steps. So let's go ahead and get started. Step number one, open iClone and choose a character if you do not want to use the default character loaded by the program. Go to Avatar, Character, Template, or Custom to load a new character. Once loaded, then click inside the viewport and simply press J. This enters face cam mode. You're now ready to move on to step two. In step two, using the zoom tool, Located on the toolbar above the viewport, pull out slightly until your character's head and shoulders are exposed. Holding right click and dragging will also activate the zoom tool as well. Now you're ready to move on to step 3. In step 3, select a mood that will work best to close or tighten your character's mouth. Go to Animation, Facial Animation, Template, Mood. Innocent works well in most cases. Moving forward exactly one second in time, you will notice that your facial expression changes and the lips pucker a bit. Now you're ready for step four. In step 4, choose a solid background color by clicking the scene icon at the top, then 2D background, modify, then simply choose a color. Blue or green are usually the best choice, however it's up to you which works best. I'm going to go with green for this image. Now you're ready to move on to step 5. In step 5, go to export at the top. Then, under format, choose JPEG or, or bitmap. I prefer JPEG. Then under output size, choose 1024 by 768. Under render quality, choose best render. Now you're ready for step number 6. In step number six, go to export and at the bottom you'll want to create a new folder called face reference or something to that effect will work fine. Then proceed to name your file and save it. Now you're ready to move on to step number seven. In step number seven, you'll need to open Crazy Talk, which we have open here. Click on Import Image at the top of the toolbar on the left. This will open a window allowing you to navigate to your character image. Go ahead and click Open. Now you're ready for step number eight. Load your image and then begin creation of your face guide. Click and drag a selection window as stated in the guide to the right of your viewport. Once you have the crop as directed, then click next.
Now you're ready for step number nine. In the next step, place the four feature points as specified in the guide to the right of the viewport. Then go ahead and click next once you're ready. Now we're ready for step number 10. In step number 10, further define the facial fit in either the basic mode or advanced fitting mode. Do this by clicking either icon at the top left toolbar, then placing the points to better fit your character's facial features. As you can see in advanced fitting mode, you have more points to use. By moving these points or vertices in space, you can get a more custom fit to your particular CTM or Crazy Talk model file. We can move them entire pieces at once or single points at a time in space. Be sure to line up the mouth to create the split in the middle of the mouth and not on top of one of the lips. You can then go back into preview mode and you're ready for step number 11. In step number 11, click on the advanced facial settings to give your new face guide animated eyes and teeth templates that are completely customizable. These greatly enhance the quality and versatility of the emotive effects. Note the eye library as well as the teeth library. As you can see, you can adjust the color settings the scale, density, um, short and tall, and displacement, as well as rotation. Now you're ready for step number 12. In step number 12, you'll want to save your new face guide into your custom library by going to Custom while in Model Mode. Then click the new folder icon, name the new folder, and then very simply go to the bottom and click on the add button. This will add your new face guide CTM model into your custom library. This is giving you a real-time reference to revise and refine until it's perfect before applying any CTS or Crazy Talk script to your avatar inside of iClone. For more information, please visit realusion.com or contact technical support at Realusion.